Hello guys, my name is Vijay. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in Episero. In this session, let us discuss about Cloud Hub deployment using Mule Maven plugin. Uh, the authentication is uh, through username and password. Okay, before that, right? Let's let's see a few things about uh, Cloud Hub deployment uh, through Ma using Mule Maven plugin. So we can deploy to Cloud Hub using AnyPoint Studio or using AnyPoint CLI or Runtime Manager, and this is one of one of the ways where how you can deploy your MuleSoft application to Runtime Manager. That is using Mule Maven plugin. So, um, <coughs> so for for this to work right, you have to configure uh, Maven uh, within your uh, uh, environment or la or system so please watch this video which i'll be adding in my in my playlist okay yeah so in order to do this uh, deployment through mule maven plugin right uh, we have to copy this this particular snippet of uh, 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 what do you say xml content into pom.xml so you see here uh, these three uh, i mean if whatever i have selected here it's a Mule Maven plugin. So along with that, we are also uh, what do you say having configuration for the Cloud Hub deployment. Okay, so this particular content we have to add in uh, pom.xml. Okay, um, yeah. Before we go into detail, right? Uh, let's see the authentication methods. So we have uh, four different kinds of authentication. Uh, methods while you deploy your applications through mule maven plugin one is username and password so that is what we are uh, going to see in this session so as i told you so this is the content uh, that we have to add within pom.xml so that is what i have selected here you have to copy and paste that here within uh, if you see this is the pom.xml and within plugins right you have to copy that particular uh, plugin code okay like this and um, you need not touch these things because uh, they are already configured or now here within cloud of deployment right uh, we have to uh, we have to pass values for this URI or mule version username password application name environment you could see right different uh, uh, properties we, we have within this cloud hub deployment so all these things we have to pass uh, you can pass them directly within pom.xml or if you want you can externalize them the way i did here if you see uh, url uh, we are pulling it from common deployment properties dot url so that is this one okay any point dot dot com okay and because this url will not change or uri will not change mule version also mostly will not change um, and uh, what else region and uh, region also right uh, it will it will remain the same for for all the environments deployment so that's why i have kept all these properties in uh, config hyphen common dot ml okay so whatever are the properties that are environment specific you can configure them uh, within config hyphen environment dot ml the way i have done here right deployment workers one worker type micro and the port is 8081 so this way you can define all these um, environment specific properties and um, so if i have to show you right uh, go to api config and this is where common you have to uh, define these in the global elements here common configuration properties and as well as environment uh, environment specific configuration properties okay so so um, if you see i did not pass username and password uh, from um, property files so that we will be passing through the maven command okay mm, yeah so i think these are like self-explanatory workers worker type and object store v2 should uh, it should be true 
and properties right this is where uh, okay i mean uh, these will be displayed in the runtime manager if you pass okay uh, i think that's it that these are the changes that you have to do to the pom.xml so once you do all these uh, all this configuration properly right uh, you can go to command prompt so what you have to do right click on this project show in and system explorer uh, click on this now you can open command prompt here this way what you have to do you have to execute this particular command so mvn clean deploy if i show you the documentation right uh, mvn clean deploy mule deploy hyphen d mule deploy right this is the command that you have to use so you can go uh, what is what uh, i mean what is deploy and what is hyphen d mule deploy in the in the in the mules of documentation itself uh, we call this as a phase and these are goals uh, and parameters okay so now this is a phase and these are this is a goal and these are parameters maybe all this all these are parameters okay so uh, if you see right here i am passing the username and password so ap.user and ap.pwd ap means any point platform okay and the rest of the parameters or uh, for the rest of the configurations right i am passing from the property file so that's why you you only see username and password here okay uh, so i have to tell you one more thing that if you see application name right uh, i am actually uh, uh, configured the artifact name see project dot artifact id sample mule api so that will uh, that will be prefixed okay and the suffix i am adding it as an environment which i will be passing from uh, command prompt okay so this 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 will be substituted here and the uh, uh, this will be common for all the environments okay this this is the artifact id will be common and environment will change so let me execute this command and see what happens let me pause the video for for a moment hello guys um if you see here uh, it started deploying okay it has created the application it is starting the application now if you see here uh, the environment value whatever i have passed was added as a suffix and it will be deployed in this particular environment so let's go to that particular runtime that particular environment in the runtime manager and you'll see that uh, it is uh, getting deployed see it has started and you see it is uh, it got deployed at uh, 8:21 you could see the time here okay so this is how you can deploy uh, a mule uh, application using mule maven plugin into the anypoint platforms runtime manager okay so we'll see uh, something called as build success uh, the, the final uh, status of the deployment very soon in the command prompt okay now uh, once this is deployed uh, okay once we get that particular uh, acknowledgement or once we see build success uh, we'll we'll also uh, try to undeploy the same application okay so how to undeploy also we'll see it's taking some time so in the meantime right this is the like this is the command uh, to undeploy uh, we also have to pass the environment because we have to make it understand right uh, in which environment it has to delete uh, this particular application okay so we have to specify the environment as well and along with that we also have to pass the username and the password okay 
so this is the username and this is the password it's still taking time let me pause the video for a few more moments hello guys now you can you can see here uh, it is showing as build success it took a lot of time for, for some reason not sure but finally we got the expected result okay now let me uh, try to test this particular application by sending a request from postman so click on send you see successfully deployed using muleman plugin the environment uh, value because it is deployed in dev uh, uh, it has shown that uh, in the response if you see in the application logic right this is what I have done uh, environment I have appended to this particular uh, static uh, value okay now let's try to undeploy this so let me copy this command clear screen And enter so this should uh, undeploy our application within dev environment okay so let me go back and what it will do it will uh, it will not only undeploy it will delete the application so that that is what is mentioned uh, within this uh, documentation right uh, from mule maven plugin 3.3.0 version or later versions they'll uh, dip undeploy along with undeploying they will also delete the applications that's what is mentioned here okay uh, as I told you the application got undeployed and you will see build success again okay so the same way uh, let me let me show you how to deploy I mean we can also deploy uh, to prod as well so let me execute this command uh, so now if I go to prod right uh, click so ideally the application should get deployed in this particular environment see uh, it is saying creating application so soon it will appear in this particular environment okay uh, starting application checking if application and the applic oh sorry uh, I have passed the environment as test here so we have to check in test environment so go to test click on switch see it is deploying okay so this is how you can um, you can try to deploy uh, in multiple environments using mule maven plugin and you can get this kind of facility from uh, trial account itself the way I have shown you uh, in the first video right you can create multiple environments in any point platform I mean within the trial account itself you can refer this particular video okay so this will get deployed and finally it will show build success so I'll pause it I'll pause this video for a moment hello guys uh, yes this application got deployed successfully in test environment so let me try to send a request okay um, and it should display uh, its in I mean environment uh, here in the response okay uh, still uh, we are at to receive build success uh, message but this is how you can deploy to multiple environments using mule maven plugin i hope you like this video uh, we'll we'll discuss we'll discuss this in the next session like cloud hub deployment using mule maven plugin how to configure your settings.xml uh, for server configuration so we'll we'll discuss that in the next session thank you so much